Scott Brown here. Have you ever wondered how to lift a house up? Like literally lift it off the ground? In today's exciting episode, we're gonna lift up part of a house that was built in 1904. Kia ora Here is your severe weather update. Fairly widespread around the North Island at the moment. Just look at our radar. Heavy rain coming in from the north, uh, currently through Northland, Auckland, but that will be continuing to impact us. So this is the inside, and out there is where we're extending. So we're checking the floor to see how level it is. That would be at level if we lifted it like that. So it's falling that way, and it's consistently falling that way. You can feel everything kind of falling out. Yeah, it's a solid 30 mil. <laughs> 30 mil from here, that way. That's pretty much bang on. But then you move it out, and then it's kind of like about here. It's pretty out. So that's the extension out there. This is the current kitchen. And we're going to open all this up. So we'll try and check this I mean, way. It's not, it's not bad. It's got like a 15 mil gap under there. Now that we've opened everything up, we're getting a good idea of just how wonky the floor is. We're putting in new piles along here. So that gives us a chance to bring things up and down. But because it goes back into the room quite a bit, we might need to go back further. So, the joy of old houses. I think this house is, I should probably look it up, but it's about 100 years old. Oh, it's 100 years old. Yeah, this house is about 100 years old, and under here, uh, they've clearly put posts under this section of the house where we notice it's dropping. Um, you can see it, it looks like a fence post or something. And they put blocks under there to hopefully prop it up, but uh, to get it all level and to make it marry in nicely with what we're going to build and be a, a nice flat open plan area we're going to have to come up with another option more more posts i think and uh new concrete tricky it's tricky richard you just love to get me under a house with piles eh? <laughs> do you want me to buy some poly <laughs> <A> crawl space <laughs> <laughs> so before we try and find a solution to that problem The house levelling situation is on hold. We're waiting to hear back from the guys that do that every day, seeing what our options are. So in the meantime, we've decided that the laundry is kind of irredeemable at this point. We're planning to raise the roof, so it's too short. We need to build on top of it. We also need to redo the floor because it's so out of level. And the walls probably aren't in great shape either. So it gets to a point where you go, why keep it? So we're going to knock it down. So this window is looking a bit rickety, but we're going to try and save it. That's uh, that's part of the window sill there. Yep. You got it. Got it. And you've got the uh, bar as well. <laughs> It is rotten. Might have been a leak at some point. A lot of silicon. a sill that has been in place for many many years that is still a straight piece of timber somewhat the top has been stepped on so much that it has this dip in it it's kind of like in the UK when you walk up all those stone stairs and they've all got the big grooves in them
So we're managing to save a few weatherboards, actually quite a few. Uh, it's just been the occasional one that's got quite a lot of mold and so yeah you can't always save every weatherboard but it's worth trying and I think we've done pretty well. We've got a good stack there that we can scrape off all the paint, sand it and um, reuse it. Alright so that is propped. The pink timber stays and everything else goes. It's all under control here, eh, Richard? Should I make that s and joke again? <laughs> this is a family friendly yeah. show. Some uh, native flooring there. Our guess is uh, Rimu, judging by the age of the house, and looks a bit different to the flooring from the last job, which was Cody flooring. So we're going to try and salvage this. Just steroids and stuff. <laughs> no lateral strength whatsoever. <laughs> That's amazing, See, the issue with this house, it, you know, it's an old house, built in 1904, so it's still sitting on the same foundations that it was sitting on when it was built. They're all timber posts, but they go down onto either concrete blocks or, in some cases, uh, totra, which is a hardwood, and that hardwood can resist moisture and everything a lot better. So they put that in the ground first, put the timber pile on top of it, and that's your foundation. So over the years, the ground settles, timber moves, and we've got parts of the floor falling and parts rising, you know, there's a camber in the timber. I'll show you a close-up of the timber that they used to put in the ground because it's pretty fascinating. I'll show you that in a minute, but first... G'day mate! Is, is the ladder wishful thinking? Very much so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're a week away from that ladder bro. Peace to camera. So I was just going to talk about what we would... Uh, I might as well tell you while I, while yeah. I tell them. So the guys have been here uh, since early this morning and they've got a series of what are essentially truck jacks. Some are rated like rated to like 20 tons, some are rated to 10 tons and they go around with the blocks. The post is like a block and then they put the jack on top of that post and then crank it up and over on the lowest end they had to raise it 70 mil. Holy. Crazy yeah. And um, in some of the other parts it's like 30 mil, 50 mil and not so much but um what i was surprised by was how many posts we have to replace there's we're looking at like 26 posts we have to put in now oh, going home <laughs> what's wrong <laughs> what, what what's the matter <laughs> see you later so we started off with 11 posts that's what's on the consent and uh yeah there's a few more now and that's because as soon as you lift it the post becomes short and all you have to do is kick those little concrete footings and um, you can see how loose they are after being in the ground for over a hundred years. So some of the posts here in the house are on concrete, some are on timber. And this is Totra and you can see what happens to it after being in the ground for, I don't know, 115 years or something. But despite the fact that the bottom looks like that, <laughs> the dude that's um, lifting the house up just cut it in half and the centre still looks like that. After that many years and being that close to the bottom, to the ground, for over a hundred years. How cool is that? So the company that are doing this, um, turns out they've actually done three other houses on the same street. So <laughs> it's, it's not a unique problem. And one, one thing he said was, uh, as he was leveling and lifting it, he was like, these houses are the best. I love these houses because you can bend them and lift them and crank them up, repile them and then in 50 years you can do it again and the house will take it. When the owners were inside while he was lifting it, they could hear all this popping and cracking everywhere. But um, yeah, no problems. 
you just lift it up and um, we're redoing the inside anyway in this area so it's all going to be re-plastered so yeah lifting a house you can do it we've got a lot of paths to do and uh, it's mainly along this wall here where it dropped and obviously we're a bit closer to the ground than we would have liked and um, down here where Rich is mate it's paradise down oh, there bloody hell I'd put an umbrella up nothing to complain about down there man some lounger chairs yeah so the house lifter just left and he recommended knee pads and uh, concrete <laughs> a lot of concrete so yeah let's do it